If you would like to get this month's crystal reading for your sign for download and purchase, please click on the Vimeo link below this video in the show more section or visit my website, theluckymermaid.com and the links for these videos are posted on the most recent video page. Please be sure to check out my other psychic readings for each zodiac sign I have available there as well. Thank you so much. Wish you many blessings and peace. Hi Pisces, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for July 2017. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Hanson Roberts tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Ascendant, and Pisces Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Pisces, now onto your reading for July 2017. First card you have in the reading is Ace of Rods. And Ace of Rods is a card that symbolizes to me new beginnings. This could be a new job, a new love, a new home, receiving an inheritance, something new happening in your life of any kind. You're now on the precipice of change, Pisces. Great things are getting ready to happen for you in your life. You're going to be receiving some award of some kind or some benefit or some blessing in July or August. Some of you are starting up your own business or a new business or a new company. Some of you, you're, you're winning something or feeling triumphant or feeling successful in some way in July. I also see you beginning to understand some things better that are going on or have been going on in your life that may have been feeling complex to you before. Things that were like uncertain or too complex, you now have a much better picture of it and a much better understanding. Some of you may be traveling back and forth between two locations in July. Uh, also, maybe if you hadn't been commuting before, you may start commuting because I get the words traveling back and forth between two places and commuting comes up for some of you. Also, travel is indicated for some of you Pisces in July also. If you're a songwriter or a writer of any kind, you may bust out with a new song, a new story, um, and also the sensation of having to top someone else or top your own previous work and to become more and be better. So I do feel the competition feeling for some of you Pisces. So it's either like you're competing with somebody else or you're competing with yourself and your previous works to create something that you feel is better. That also comes up here. I see you treating yourself treating yourself like royalty and being good to yourself. So you may, maybe you're going to be buying yourself something nice or, you know, treating yourself to massages or pedicures, facials, massages, or buying some luxury items or some things you really want because I see you treating yourself and being really good to yourself also. Some of you may be having some big surprise in your family. It could be somebody saying they're going to have a baby or somebody actually delivering a baby in July, or um, they could be making some other kind of big announcement in your family. Somebody could be getting engaged. So, uh, you know, somebody could be saying we're, we're eloping, we're getting married, but you've got some big announcement coming in July that's connected to family that feels like it's a surprise, but I feel like it's a positive surprise. I don't see you being unhappy with it. So the next card you have in the layout is the Queen of Rods. And the Queen of Rods is a fire sign female. This is either a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising sign. Um, it could be a male. Don't be thrown that it's a female because men, even in private readings, 
the genders can change on the cards. I, you can't always go by that. But it, here it is a queen, but it could still be representative of a male. Staying strong, working with them, doing things with them. Um, you may be in a business partnership with them. You could be working with them. Uh, there's a lot of ingenuity and creativity around you and whatever your association is with this queen of rods. This could also be your rising sign or moon sign also, because that's been happening a lot lately. I've been getting the sense like, I feel like this is somebody's rising or moon sign. Not necessarily for every time or every sign, but I just want to put it out there. So this could even be an aspect of yourself. She's going a long way. She's doing a lot of things differently than ever before. So you're connected to this. I really feel if it's not a part of yourself, this is somebody you're connected to uh, that could be promoting herself, doing things differently than ever before. A lot of creativity around this uh, Queen of Rods. She could be a boss to you. She could be... Um, a significant other to you. I feel you kind of feeling like they are master and commander of something. Um, again, so that's what made me say boss. They could uh, this uh, queen of rods could be your boss or could be someone you look up to or respect. I feel like whatever it is going on here with you and the queen of rods that it's working out. Things are going in your favor. Uh, this Queen of Rods is treating you well and with kindness. I get that. So I don't see you having any issues with the Queen of Rods. There's a feeling of permanence about the Queen of Rods and stability also. So you could be, um, this could be a parent to you. It could be a boss to you. It could be a significant other to you. But there's a feeling of permanence here and respect and kindness uh, and creativity and ingenuity and promotion and working. Uh, some of you may be working with uh, this Queen of Rods in some manner. This Queen of Rods, she's strong-willed, no two ways about it, but there is a sense of naivete about her as well. So even though she's strong-willed and a strong person, she's slightly naive in some ways. She gravitates towards you. She also wants to help you. So this could even be a love relationship for some of you, um, but it's not. It's really hard for me to read the energy of this particular queen because she's. They're not really talking about romance. They're talking about other things, but that doesn't mean she's not a romantic or he is not a romantic partner for you. But that's not the strongest energy that's coming up with this queen. Now you have the eight of cups. You're turning away from, you're walking away from something that's not working for you anymore, emotionally speaking, and heading off in a new journey with the stick of power and control in your hand. Um, and, you know, even though the journey may be unknown, you're having control. Now, if this was a love relationship, you could be walking away from her. But I don't feel that's the energy. That's not really the energy that's coming up to me about this queen because I don't feel she's giving you a problem. I see you maybe starting some company or business or something your own way uh, because I'm hearing doing things your own way and training other people comes up here. So you may start something where you're training other people. Maybe you have YouTube videos and you're going to start doing webinars or maybe what you're doing on YouTube is training other people. That's possible. But it's feeling like... Um, also, resources and funds seem to be getting gathered so you can start this own business or company or move out. If there was some place you didn't want to live anymore or a job you didn't like anymore, for some reason I pick up having the resources and funds to move out. So you do have the ability to move out of any situation that you don't like, whether it's a living situation or a work situation, because I see you having the funds and resources behind you to be able to do it. If you move on to any new situation, you come bearing gifts. You come with knowledge, information, financial resources. Uh, you come with things. Wherever you're going, whatever you're going to, if it's a new job, or maybe you're going to start teaching at a university or at a school and you're, and you're changing your position, you come with an arsenal of knowledge and, and uh, well-prepared 
well thought out plans, thoughts, promotions, ideas. You come well prepared. You have an arsenal of things at your disposal mentally, your experience, your knowledge, money even um, is how it comes up. You're going to get on track on some project or plan that you want to get going and I see you making a um, I see you making a good impression making a good impression on somebody and they want to be there to like help you assist you give you a leg up give you a job or help you out in whatever it is you're doing like you because you make a you make a good impression on someone in July I also see you wanting more knowledge you expanding your knowledge and wanting and you may be doing studying you may be studying a particular subject advancing your knowledge studying could be metaphysical things esoteric subjects maybe you want to become more knowledgeable in the metaphysical world or you want to expand your spiritual awareness uh, it could even be like traditional subjects but I get wanting to expand your knowledge also comes up with the eight of cups now here this card wanted to show up a lot for the signs this month I've done more than half of them and six of swords keep showing up this is travel long distance travel can be moving on to more positive better shores uh, away from negative times to new and better shores it can also mean uh, moving you could be moving your residence I see you feeling like you have to get yourself out and about more in the world a glad handing people and advance in your career so some of you may feel like you know what I haven't seen enough of the world or I haven't gotten to meet enough people in the field that I'm interested in or I want to get new clients or expand my business more and so you may be doing networking you may be going to you know being on LinkedIn you could be doing networking with other people and other companies and other businesses you could be doing all of that um, and I, I, I hear like showing someone proof positive of what I have to offer so you could be going on job interviews there could be job interviews here happening it could also be if you own your own business or you're trying to get backers supporters funders for any kind of um, work that you want to do uh, anything you want to create and you need financial backing it, even if it's like government grants and loans it could even be with that or you know g meeting people in the private sector that could be you know investing in you and your work and the projects you're doing and any of that like all that is circling around this six of swords I do feel some of you are going to be traveling some of you I hear getting my backpack on and getting ready to go you could be going camping you could be going hiking maybe you just carry certain equipment or things you need in your backpack and then therefore you're going you're packing it up and you're going somewhere there's nuances of change going on around what you're doing and I do feel that many of you Pisces will be feeling positive about this family is going to be treating you well in July and I do feel that some of you Pisces are going to be learning a lot from your family in July also I also see you restructuring your boundaries and figuring out and saying to yourself this is what I'm going to do or this is what I'm not going to put up with anymore you are restructuring your boundaries I feel that's actually a very important message some of you may ignore so I wanted to repeat it again and put this emphasis on it because I feel in July you're going to be doing some analysis of some situations that are going on in your life or have gone on in your life for a while and you're going to say you know what I'm restructuring my boundaries I'm not having this anymore or things have to change and putting it out there or changing it in your mind at the very least now the last card you have in the reading is uh, the king of rods you had the queen of rods so now you got the king of rods you're not the first time that had this happen where there was a reading where the king of cups and the queen of cups wanted to show up now you've got the king of rods and the queen of rods here's the king of rods could be the same person just showing up again this is a fire sign person either being a Aries Leo or Sagittarius Sun sign rising sign or moon sign um, this, again this could be the same person it could be two separate people there's some anger jealousy or bitterness coming from them I feel like this fire sign male 
or person is in a position of angst right now. I feel like they may be experiencing a difficult time in coping with something or coping with reality, or they might not be feeling well. I don't know, but I just get having a hard time dealing with something and coping with something going on in their reality. This king of rods is persistent, but also dubious because I get they want one thing, then they want another. You may be having to put your, that may be somebody you're putting your boundaries up with or having to deal with, or it could be the family member you're learning a lot from, because I get, I, I'm not really sure how this king is affecting you. I feel like you may feel a little upset about them or, or worn out by them, upset by them or worn out by them or both. They could be secretive, but they could also be being very diplomatic with you or what's going on with them. You may feel a little out of sorts about this King of Rods, like a little angry with them, out of sorts about them. So in this reading, I do not feel that the King and Queen of Rods are the same person. To me, they really do feel like two people, two different people. You may feel like they're trying to manipulate or control you. And you may be having words with them or talking to them because they may be trying to govern you in some way. This could be a boss, could be your father. You may get the feeling like you want to stay out of their way or get away from them in July if you can. Like, you know, not be around them so much or get, a, get out of their way. You may feel undecided about them in July and either you're on a fact-finding mission or they are. Somebody here between the two of you is on a fact-finding mission. You may feel like at times they can be a tyrant or you may feel like they are unmanageable at times. So whoever this is to you, you, you know, you may be, be on like tender hooks around them, like very cautious, careful around them and I feel like you kind of like don't trust them fully or you don't like they're too. I get this passive aggressive nature with this king of rods. Like they could be too controlling and then they could and they could be too uh, be too diplomatic. Then they could be acting diplomatic. They could be acting controlling on one hand, then be di acting diplomatic. They could be being secretive with you. They may be um, having issues and feeling like, I feel like you're going to want to keep your distance from them or you may be a little bit confused by them in July. So I don't know. He could be, like I said, your boss, your father. He could even be a husband to you or I don't know. I'm not really getting exactly who he is, but you're dealing with him in July and I feel like a total opposite reaction than what I get to the Queen of Rods that I get from the King of Rods. So I do not feel that they're the same person. So I hope this reading was of help to you, Pisces. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please remember to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I post any of my videos here on YouTube. Also, if you would like to get kind of like a continuation or let's just say further messages and insights from my spirit guides through my crystal readings, you can access these crystal readings for your sign for July 2017 for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section. And it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for July 2017 psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac. You can also access these videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com clicking on the videos tab on my menu and going to page it's either going to be 10 or 11 and go to the heading of psychic crystal readings and click on your sign and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo. Also, if you're interested, you can get the Psychic Tarot Update, which is five cards that I pulled as an update from the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck for uh, each sign of the Zodiac to cover June 2017 through till the end of December 2017. You can access those videos on my website on page 10. It's the drop down menu. Go to page 10 and there when you see the heading for 
mid-month psychic tarot update for each sign of the zodiac for 2017 you just click on your sign and it will take you to those videos on vimeo i wish you an absolutely joyous july pisces and know that i wish you many blessings and peace